Greetings, Treepers. This is Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor. Um, and since this is my happy knife, it must be time to unbox something. I uh, just got in the mail this extremely heavy package from Subterranean Press. And in fact, I know exactly what it is because it says right on the outside. It's something I've been waiting for for, I don't know, about eight months. Uh, Pre-ordered it. It is the new volume from Caitlin Kiernan, Beneath an Oil Dark Sea. Um, I shall use my knife. Subterranean Press um, has a fantastic business model. What they do is they, they publish um, hardbound, really nice collectible editions of uh, speculative fiction. I'm mostly interested in the uh, weird tales and um, dark horror stuff. Um, things that it were originally only published in paperback, uh, but have gone on to become uh, significant to read. Um, this particular volume is a the second volume of the collected stories of Caitlin Kiernan, who is, um, gosh, one of my all-time favorite writers. Um, first first edition came out. First book came out last year. It is called. Two Worlds and In Between, another honking thick book. I believe it's like 600 pages long. Yes, yeah, something like that. Um, the Best of Caitlin Kiernan, Volume 1. This is The Best of Caitlin Kiernan, Volume 2. And the other thing I love about uh, Subterranean Press is they, um, they pack with these um, foam things that are made out of... Um, I think they made it as some kind of cornstarch. So if you put them in water, they dissolve. Way too fun. Uh, this is a large volume, like the first. There is fistfuls and fistfuls of these lovely little things, which I actually will play with later. Um, beautifully packaged. Bubble wrap. Not enough bubble wrap in this world, I think. So there's the invoice for how much I paid for it, which is really, really remarkably um, reasonable. It's like 50, 60 bucks. Um, and it comes with a bookmark. How cute. For other volumes, um, including a Harlan Ellison um, collection. Uh, the Rise of Endymion by uh, Dan Simmons, a, a classic of speculative fiction. Um, and a cute little quotation on the back. In addition to when you pre-order and you get you get the, the fun stuff, you get um, other extra volumes. Uh, they are... Uh, Subterranean Press is really great as far as adding um, really cool extras. When I've had other um, Caitlin Kiernan books... They came with um, other, like, hardbound chapbooks. Highly collectible, fun stuff. This one came with False Starts 2, being another compendium of beginnings. I will open this. Lovely, hardbound, pressed in the front. Copyright 2015. These are a oh, beautiful little um, uh, lovely short pieces, um, all with lovely dates on them. It's always fun to see the the uh, the process. And in fact, um, <laughs> one of the things I love about Caitlin Kiernan is her um, her website, uh, Great Girl Beast. Um, she's had a live girl, I mean, live girl, yeah, she's had a live girl, um, a live journal um, um, blog for just about as long as they've had live journal blogs. And what I love about it is that uh, she is, um, she does not pull any punches about, about how difficult it is to um, be a professional writer. So many folks have this idea that, oh, that would be the, the perfect thing, I wish I could quit my job and, and, uh, and be a writer all the time. Yeah, well, you know, that would suck too, you know, just because 
you love writing, it's still a business. Um, so so I, I, I adore her live journal. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about this volume. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's huge for one thing. I believe it's like 600 pages. Let's see. Oh, it's got... Oh, it's got like comic work at the back. Kaylin Kiernan, of course, um, first rising to fame as she wrote um, uh, some of the, some of the stuff for, for Sandman, the, the the backup stuff, I believe, didn't actually follow that. Um, um, I knew her first from the novel Silk, um, lovely, creepy story of um, um, of folks you didn't see a lot of stories about at that time, um, and and that's what was really fun, like so outliers, folks who are, you know, not. Um, not a lot of stories being told about them. Um, that and that was very, very fun. Um, God, I, you wouldn't call that YA, would you? Oh, I hope not. Um, it's um, Silk. It's, 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 a, it, it's a good, definitely a good book. And then she followed up with um, many, many other books. Um, but seriously, the things that... Uh, uh, the, the two novels that, that really... Um, Made her remarkable. I think that will, that will uh, give her give her her uh, her credence in history. Um, is the Red Tree and the Drowning Girl. Drowning Girl. Drowning Girl also had a had a lovely um, centipede press um, edition just last year. Um, it's I mean it's remarkable. Centipede press. I shouldn't actually be talking about centipede press um, in an unboxing, but but. Um, um, Subterranean Press, but it's but they're two totally different things. Sub, um, Centipede Press does stuff that is like um, museum quality stuff. These are uh, lovely illustrations bound in. Illust um, anyways, Drowning Girl. Um, that was another one of the things that are. It's like um, in a hundred years, folks will be reading this in school. You know. Isn't that great, the, the, the thought that you'll be able to um, irritate students in the future? Um, making you you're just like, oh my god, do you remember reading Poe? Did you, were you, did you have to read Poe like in junior high? Like, um, and is there anything that you can take the fun out of anything except by making it required? Um, I, I, I had read Poe, you know, sub, you know, um, sub Rosa. Uh, uh, not on the reading list, so, so I remember loving Poe uh, before we had to read him. Um, that Neon Hawthorne and all the other creepy shit. Um, but back to the to the main thing. Under an oil dark sea, it's volume two of her collected works. Um, the collected stories because she uh, writes a, a staggering number of stories, uh, uh, all of which are, are on a really high level. They are. Um, of the weird tale, the um, strange story, I think Aikman called them, um, un uncomfortably calling them horror stories, although they are definitely unsettling and uncanny. Um, uh, difficult work. She was behind, you know, totally ahead, ahead of the, the game, um, and for about I don't know how many years she's done the Sirenia Digest thing, which is a uh, a monthly collection of stories and illustrations sent only out to the folks who support her on a monthly basis. Um, so she like was far ahead of the curve for Patreon and that kind of thing. Um, and, and that's where for I think most of her, her output of, of short stories comes from. Um, a remarkable um, output of stories. Uh, even if she was writing crap, it's remarkable how many stories she completes. Um, Anyways, so these are these are um, stories, but also in here is Black Helicopters, which is a novella. Um, it was nominated for something big and official and important, and if you care about that shit, you probably already know it. Um, but that's in here, and, and uh, as well as oh my god, six hundred and ten pages. This catches you up to date, pretty much on the. Um, uh, two, one section is from 2004 to 2008. That's when she's still writing in Atlanta. Then she moved up to Providence, 
which she loves to to um, uh, complain about the weather. Um, uh, read her live journal to to find out what she really thinks about <laughs> about the the uh, shitty Providence weather, uh, where she's been um, to, to 2012. And I think this actually has yes. The, um, uh, I believe this is the first publication of a bibliography um, of Caitlin's work, um, which is really good because I, I, I am I'm sort of a collector. Actually, this whole line here is our, uh, work by Caitlin Kiernan, and that's not even all of them because obviously I have the the uh, the the Drowning Girl elsewhere. I have got um, my copy of the Red Tree has been loaned out to a friend. Um, also, her, her, some of her comic work, um, Alabaster with uh, Dancy Flammarion, um, it doesn't fit on that flipping shelf, so um, that doesn't go there either. It goes with the comic books. Uh, go figure. This, um, this is one of those uh, precious items that I have too because it was um, I got her to sign it. I met her, um, which is which is an achievement itself because she's sort of a recluse. Um, I met her at the World Horror Convention in uh, New Orleans uh, two years ago, and um, I, of course, didn't have anything with me. I didn't have any of my books with me to, to get signed, um, so I, I bought what the only thing they had at the, at the bookseller, and I went up to her, and I had this fantastically weird phenomenon of not being able to talk. I was not. Uh, I was like, uh, 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 you, you're, yeah, uh, yeah, it means a lot, but. Uh, um, it was, it was just a, a, um, a, a charming fanboy moment. Cause I'm, I'm obviously not a boy. Um, and I, and I really don't like very much. I mean, I think if you've watched or read much of me and, um, Daily Nightmare, you know that I don't like too much. I only say nice things about the things I like and the other stuff I don't talk about. There's a lot of stuff I don't talk about. Um, but the stuff I like, like Caitlin Kiernan's work, um, I really like, um, uh, and I found myself like a blithering idiot trying to talk to her and ask her for her autograph, even though that's what folks were standing in flipping line to do, asking for autographs. Um, fun stuff. Um, if I was going to suggest that you start someplace, it would be with one of these lovely collections of the best of, uh, because... I don't know if it is the best of, but it's a, certainly a, definitely a good place to start, and it's a fulsome collection. Look at that. Wow, you're almost filling up whole shelf with those, just these two. Subterranean Press has them. I believe the hardbounds are, all, are, are, are sold out. Um, but um, check for them online. Um, otherwise, for long-form stuff, um, yeah, Drowning Girl and um, um, uh, uh, The Red Tree. Um, they're not for everyone. Uh, I should probably mention that. Uh, I'm sure if you've got, I don't know, impacted bowels or something, you're going to find something that you don't like about them. But uh, it's it's a high quality of uh, of language, um, an appreciation of language, and um, creepy event. Um, if if you need to have a pulse pounding plot, like oh my god, um, look. Um, I think people who are concerned about spoilers um, are idiots because they're, they they seem to look only at the plot. Like, oh no, you've ruined the plot for me. Um, uh, I reread books. I read read the books I like. I reread Caitlin Kiernan, um, and you know the plot the second time through. You're reading for the language, for the the sense of um, of mood. She evokes a great sense of mood. Um, you read for things other than than the reasons why you watch the big things go boom movies. If you like that kind of stuff, you're gonna like this. Um, also, get on the mailing list for Subterranean Press. Um, they're in Burton, Michigan. Um, that way, you could pre-order like I did and get, actually get a copy of the uh, fun little extras. What did I do with it? Um, that come with the uh, with pre-ordering, um, and you can too can have a fun, loving bookshelf of um, of weird stuff. Uh, this was um, the Leech Doctor, Doctor Leech, the Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com.
this was another unboxing of stuff that, hey, I want to see unboxed. Not that plastic crap. Talk to you later. Woohoo! Look at him! Look at him! Woohoo!